Hello, I'm Father Joe Gambala, pastor of St. Malachi Catholic Church in Sterling Heights, Archdiocese of Detroit. Welcome to Saint of the Day. Today is May the 5th. Well, when I received my calling to the priesthood and when I eventually was ordained at the age of 30, the archdiocese considered that a later vocation. I had been a lawyer before that. And so as of being ordained later, they had a different formula for the pay scale for later vocations, which was deeply appreciated by me. And over the years, I met a number of people who became priests later on in life, including a couple of gentlemen who became priests after their wives had passed away. Vocations can come early, and vocations can come late. Well, today's saint is Saint Juta. And Saint Juta was, always lived in the 1200s. She was born in what's now modern-day Germany. She married a nobleman, so she had a relatively comfortable life. But with him, they had a lot of children. Now, her husband decided to make a pilgrimage to the Holy Land, but he passed away on the pilgrimage. So Judah had to manage the, the uh, household and had to raise the kids, which she did. After her children grew up, she decided that she had a calling to become a nun. As I say, she was a noble woman now and she had a lot of money. So she decided to give all of that money away to the poor and enter the convent. She um, moved into a convent in what's now uh, what was then called Prussia, uh, which is now largely modern day Poland. And after many years in the convent, she finished two years as a hermitess, living in a little, little cave not too far from the convent, where she had many visions and was given the gift of levitation. 